Hey Capricorn, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for September 2021. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thanks to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on for this mid-month for you. I'm trying to see if anything comes through Claire audiently. Um, interestingly enough, I just heard a hold the line. I'm not taking those because that's too many and I only do five for the mid-monthly and then I get other oracle cards. If you're new here, I hope you hit subscribe and become a part of our fam. If you want to book a live one hour with me, take a look at the description box below. If you want to shop over at Starcy Jewels and pick up modern day amulets that I create, they're not stuff that I sell that's mass made. I make them there. I ship them to you directly. I'm wearing a bunch. You can take a look at the description box below for that uh, while I get these cards ready. Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Fool, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, um, it's interesting that I was hearing hold the line because the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is very self-made. They're very financially abundant, but they've done it on their own. So... This is somebody who is very, uh, who's created their own financial wealth, their own financial stability, who nurtures it, who takes care of it, who kind of like looks after it, but it's not something where they've like um, inherited it at all. This is like all the work that you have done. Now you kind of get to like lavish in it, rejoice in it, be in it, love it, all the things. It is the Virgo energy, uh, but it is an earth sign. So it is Capricorn, um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, sorry, brain fart. And it's followed by the King of Swords. So I feel like when it comes to your financial situation, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your stability, when it comes to anything to do with you and your abundance, material wealth, um, being logical, being rational, being very practical, um, kind of removing any sort of emotion from it is going to play a very big role mid September onto the end of September because the king of swords is here this could also have to do with like legal stuff contracts legal work legal paperwork um anything to do with like the government as well or lawyers that kind of stuff it looks like there's a, a beginning of something new here with a fool facing this way so maybe you're signing a new contract maybe you have new abundance coming in maybe you get a raise maybe there's conversations around how to invest better with your money right maybe you're looking at nfts or crypto or that kind of stuff um but i feel like the whole the line um makes me makes me feel like before you jump into anything, before you make any decisions, before you're like, yes, yes, let's go do this, woo, all this money, um, to take a step back and to actually um, be very analytical um, and very detail-oriented with that Virgo energy we're in right now as you go through paperwork, as you go through contracts, as you understand your rights, you know, what does it mean to buy crypto in your country? What does it mean to buy NFTs? Um, what's going on with your taxes? All like all that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, the devil's in the details. And so holding the line will actually help you to be able to see everything from a bigger perspective rather than just jumping in. Because the fool has a tendency to be like, ooh, new opportunity. And so the, the fool may be like, yes, let's dive deep into this situation. And I don't know that it will benefit you if you do just jump in like the fool without being very knowledgeable or without doing your due diligence. We also go into Mercury retrograde at the end of the month. I want to say it's the 26th and we have the full moon on the 20th um, in Pisces. So that Neptunian energy, very Pisces, very dreamy, very exciting energy is there at the end of September, but quickly enters into that Mercury retrograde. So like if you're feeling very dreamy about things, um, just use like rational rationale versus emotions to make your decisions. And and maybe kind of if you can don't sign any contracts or kind of like you know hold off on doing anything that is contractual document based or traveling a while mercury is retrograde unless you have a mercury retrograde placement in your natal chart if it is the case that mercury is re retrograde in your natal chart then mercury retrograde kind of works in your favor 
Yes. With the uh, Queen of, of Cups here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, very emotional, very dreamy. There's that Piscean energy, that Neptunian energy, right? If you see here, she's kind of looking at this cup going like, oh, look at all these emotions. Oh, how am I feeling about all these things? But right beside it is the Ace of Swords, right? Cutting through the bullshit, getting very clear, getting very intentional, being very rational, being very logical. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning, but it's a new beginning that's kind of cut and dry, right? It's, it's very cutthroat. There is nothing soft like the Ace of, of, of Cups or emotional with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords kind of looks at a pros and cons list and goes, okay, if these are all the cons, then you're gone. Like, we don't want you anymore. You're, you need to leave. And so I feel with this energy here, there is this opportunity for a lot of abundance or a lot of um, new financial opportunities to um, surface that will have you up in your feelings and your emotionals, but being very <laughs> emotional in your emotions, but being very logical, being very rational uh, is how you will guarantee your success. Oh no, oh, it fell right back to me. That was funny. That was interesting, That uh, the way the card fell. Oh no, my nails, I can't pick it up. It's Sarah's, it's nurture. Oh, I don't want to bend it. Um, it kind of looped this, so it's like the cycle of the world. Um, you know, or the world or the wheel, it kind of went here and then it went under and then it came right back. So Sarah's is all about nurturing, okay? So I think with that Queen of Cups here too, and even the Nine of Pentacles, like taking care of your money, nurture the things that um, not only are emotionally fulfilling for you, but also that bring you stability, okay? Like if you need to be really taking care of your, um, you know, book of business or your finances, your investments, um, or things to do with your home, like your mortgage or uh, money that you have for your kids, your uh, retirement plan, like that, this all feels like it's gonna, gonna be at the forefront um, mid-September, end of September. You got acceptance here. Um, I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. With that Ace of Swords, I do feel like you are kind of cutting through some stuff in regards to maybe things that you can't change, right? Maybe you do owe the government money back in taxes and you're gonna have to pay that, right? I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm just saying think about things that have to do with your finances and things that have to do with your emotions where you just have to accept it for what it is and move forward rather than sitting in the emotions, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles and the Fool, I do love this though because it's making me feel like even if you don't sign documents, even if you're not like jumping into anything, there is something new here coming from you on the financial front and that's great, right? Because you know, we live in a capitalistic society and money makes the world go round. And so if you diversify your portfolio, you set yourself up for generational wealth and stability, uh, which will help you, especially if you're like super young now, right? As you get into like your forties and your fifties, you're gonna be feeling really good about it. All right, okay. Now we're gonna get into your love reading. Um, if there is any crystal or jewelry piece from Star Sea Jewels that I would recommend. Hmm. Um, I would turn around and say that it would have to be anything. It would have to be anything with blues. Are you done? It would have to be anything with blues or greens. The, <laughs> the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups um, make me feel like the throat chakra is going to be very activated. So this is Aphrodite. Um, it's got this amazonite crystal in it. Um, same with Eshel. It's also got amazonite and aquamarine, okay, in it. Um, so these are two crystal bracelets that have um, blue in them. Uh, blue lace agate as well. But if you have any of those crystals, use them at home and wear them in your pocket. Or you can shop in the description box below, um, either for a live one hour reading or to shop at Cersei Jewels. Okay, let's get into your love reading here. Oh, I thought that was like codependency, healing family issues. And let your friends help you. Okay, 
uh, for some of you, you are walking away from a relationship with that release your ex card, okay? For others of you, maybe there's a radical self-acceptance that, you know, part of the reason why you're still single or that you could potentially be having some obstacles or challenges in your love life has to do with codependency or codependent habits, um, maybe anxious attachment style or avoidant attachment styles. Yeah, the five of swords here. You know, maybe there is this challenge about you always needing to like win or have things your ways in relationship and, and that's kind of something you're coming to terms with um, as to either why it plays an obstacle in your relationship or why you're still single with the healing family issues in the sun okay I love that I feel like maybe this is a month where again there's that acceptance there's that understanding there's that processing energy right of the sun of like illuminating the healing issues that have to occur in your family and in you in order for you to attract love in your life the let your friends help you accept for and uh, sorry ask for and accept for support from others and the knight of wands um, does tell me that some of you could be very, getting very clear either about somebody you had a fling with somebody you had like a situationship with maybe it didn't work out how you wanted it to and so there's that acceptance coming in um, or maybe it was like an in and out like a hit it and quit it situation and maybe it's got you in your feels for some of the month and so with that ace of swords towards the end you're like you know what whatever it is what it is it happened i learned from it and i'm moving on all right okay thank you so much for watching capricorn if you're interested in a live one hour reading or if you want to shop over at cersei jewels take a look at the description box below so immensely grateful for all of you we'll see you on the next one see you later alligator peace out. Bye.